Hello everyone, so it's uh, Friday and it's five o'clock and uh, as promised here's the final instalment of uh, Reasons to be Cheerful. My name's Denise Johnson and I'm the pastoral worker attached to Preston Ribble Methodist Circuit and this week we've been thinking along the lines of Reasons to be Cheerful inspired by the Ian Deary song Reasons to be Cheerful part one, two and three. So here's part three and uh, I'm out in my car and uh, it's my day off so we've been exploring um, around the coast not too far away from where I live and it's been a beautiful sunny lovely day and it's good enough reason to be cheerful just for that but I've been thinking about cheerfulness and what it means to have joy in your heart in difficult circumstances and uh, there's a verse in the bible that talks about cheerfulness well there's several actually but um tucked away in the book of proverbs is the phrase where we take the um the line laughter is the best medicine from but in in proverbs it says a cheerful heart is the best medicine and i think it really is the best medicine how, how do you maintain this cheerful heart? A good few years ago now, I first came to the what was then the Preston Trinity Circuit. It was my first job after leaving university where I studied my theology degree. My plans were to, do, to be a lay worker and then possibly to candidate for the itinerant ministry in the Methodist Church but that was never to be. And um, so I came here, I worked at um, Gregson Lane Methodist Church and what was Higher Walton Methodist Church alongside, alongside a seasoned minister. And uh, he was talking to me about ministry and uh, I said to him, you know, you're such a busy guy. You give so much all of your time, all of your effort, all of your energy into this. How do you stay cheerful and grounded and well? And he said to me, and it stuck with me all these years, if you work hard, Denise, you also have to play hard. And I think there's some, some good sense in those words. And maybe the writer of Proverbs was saying, you know, <clears throat> It's not always about driving yourself into, into oblivion. It's not about working so hard that you've just got no time to be yourself or to do other things. It's not about pushing yourself to the absolute limit so that you're so exhausted. What it is about is having a balance in your life. So there's time, you know, to, to set time aside for yourself take time out and don't be afraid to switch off don't be afraid to say well I'm going for a walk now I need to clear my head don't be afraid to say tonight I'm going to cook a nice meal I'm going to sit and enjoy it either on my own or with my family or I'm just going to sit down today and curl up with a good book in front of the fire because that's what's going to help me to stay well. This area of well-being is a big interest of mine and I think cheerfulness and joy play an important part in it and there hasn't to be any guilt in your laughter or any guilt in your cheerfulness. Find those windows in your day when you can enjoy yourself, when you can put down other things even if your role is intense as a carer or at work or at, amongst your friends if you're always the person that they go to for some time just take off those layers and be yourself and do what makes you happy work hard play hard be cheerful next week there will be some news about Maltesers another reason to be cheerful Take care. See you all soon. Bye.